What's up, everybody, and welcome to SmackDown Live! We're coming at you from Birmingham, Alabama, and it's sure to be an awesome show here tonight. I'm Josh, that's Tyler. A show, baby! <laughs> that's how you start a show, that's how you start a show! <laughs> <clears throat> Kyle, do you want to talk about the matches we got going on tonight? Yes, I do, because it is SmackDown. It is the show to watch. It's not Raw, therefore, it's going to be exciting tonight. Anyway, anyway, in our main event tonight, we got Mark Henry, the world's strongest man, taking on the architect, Seth Rollins. And that's going to be a very explosive main event. True, that's very true. Of course, of course. There are two other matches we got to point out here. We got many matches tonight, but two more we're going to point out. First off, Cassius Ono and Curtis Axel, they are going to have a one-on-one -on -one match. The winner of this match will become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship and will go on to Battleground to challenge Roderick Strong for it. That's one. And now the other match we're going to point out here. Weeks and weeks and weeks, this mystery woman has been attacking Becky Lynch. SmackDown General Manager has had enough of it. Tonight, Becky Lynch takes on whoever this mystery attacker is. And uh, maybe we'll finally find out who it is, but I mean, until then we have to get into our first matchup here tonight. Yes, we do. We've got tag team action coming your way next. Alrighty, guys. We got tag team action right now. We've got oh, oh Biggie with the big strength, Ooh. the strength of them. We got Biggie and Kofi Kingston representing the New Day, <laughs> and of <laughs> course you got the Authors of Pain. <laughs> Look at Xavier out there with the trombone. Oh. <laughs> <My God. laughs> He's got the trombone. <laughs> if I was Xavier, I'd rather have the trombone on the outside of the ring than have to deal with the Authors of Pain right now. He's got the trombone. He's got Francesca. Ooh. And Akum just taking it to Big E. The Authors of Pain, they want to get back in that title hunt. And, uh... Oh. Everybody wants to oh. be in the title hunt, but a big spear from Big E. And I was <laughs> knocking the ref down accidentally, maybe, I think? I don't know. But knocking the ref down in the process. You never know what to expect. And now toss and ache him into the corner, and now in comes Kofi Kingston. And... Oh! Ooh, and a double shoulder tackle. Now Kofi looking for a pin here. One. Two. Kick out. And a kick out at two by Akam. Kofi talking to the ref there. Kofi can't believe it. It was so nearly a three count. Oh... Ooh. And now oh, no. Akam oh. just tossing Kofi Kingston across the ring. With ease. You can say that again. And now just tossing Kofi oh. into the corner. Ooh. And a big punch bringing him back into the corner. And now in comes Razor. Oh. Oh. oh, and multiple knees to the gut by both of the authors of pain. That hurts me. Ooh. Oh. Ow. And of course, the authors of pain looking to write a new chapter here tonight. I don't know if I'd want to be in one of those chapters. Definitely not. Oh, and oh. now, just taking it to Kofi Kingston. Maybe Biggie should have stayed in this matchup. I don't know about that. Tossing Kofi into the corner once again. And, and Kofi oh. with the quick reflexes, oh. trying to get some offense in here oh. somewhere. Oh. Now Kofi. Oh! oh. We haven't seen that in a while. And just doing everything he can to take Razor off of his feet. Got him oh. down to the corner and there. Finally flat on the ground is Razor. Kofi up on top. And a beautiful elbow drop. Now looking for a pinfall. And that be it. One. Oh. Kick out a one by Razor. Now in comes Big E. And, oh. Ooh, and a big elbow drop right to the chin. Big E, former Intercontinental Champion. And 
tossing them. Oh, Ooh. that spear again, this time to Razor. Oh, can he do it? Alley. Oh. Ooh, bomb! Beautiful maneuver out of the corner. Uday. Uday rocks. And now. Oh, and ache him, oh. and he didn't see it. A big boot, oh. and another big boot. And a third oh. big boot. Oh, Ooh, and a spear to Kofi. Oh. Oh. Big boy went for a drop kick. That was a risky maneuver, and Biggie trying to take oh. advantage. And oh. Oh, and a belly to belly suplex. Over the over the head. Tossing him to the corner. Oh. Oof. Just punishing him here. And you can say that again. Oh! And now down goes Razor. Right after he just got up. Things not looking good for Akum. Oh. Could this be it? And. Ooh! <laughs> Going for the pin. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I'm saving it. And, and Razor. Just tearing oh. Kofi apart, but Biggie coming for the save. And. Ooh. Oh! And just tossing Razor out of the ring. <coughs> New Day is not done. Not even close. Oh, and Biggie another one! Gonna focus on Razor on the outside of the ring while Kofi focuses on Akam inside the ring. New Day is getting the upper hand here. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I thought... I thought the Authors of Pain were just gonna have a nice time relaxing, writing a new chapter in, in their book, but... Nope. I was wrong. I'll admit it. And... Kofi leg drop with a beautiful leg drop. Now Kofi, oh, boom drop, rocks, boom. <laughs> and Paul Ellering, oh, oh, oh. That, no That's... contact, no contact. Therefore, it's a dirty move there. Oh. Ooh. The ref doesn't seem to care about that, though. Well, what are we going to see here? All oh, ring all dizzy here. And... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's pissed. And a headbutt. To Kofi Kingston. Look at the, throwing that chair in there. Paul Ellering. Doesn't even care if Dothers of Pain win this match anymore, just wants him to inflict pain on the new day. Oh. Narrowly avoiding the chair there. Oh. 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 Fireman's carried by Kofi. And oh, a trouble in paradise! Oh, the distraction. The distraction by Paul Ellering. And now. Did that give him enough time? Oh. Kofi can't believe it. He's moving. Oh. oh. My God. Oh. Now taking Razor out once again. New Day wondering what they have to do. And. I'm wondering what they have to do too. Oh my. And oh, oh my god, just sending Big E. Is that it? One, two, oh. that's it! And the New Day picking up the victory here tonight on the Authors of Pain. Impressive, impressive victory. Throwing a big guy like Big E, that'll do it. That, that, that surely will do it. Biggie, that's a that's a big man coming from the top. It's a big win. True, true. All in fashion, and there's Xavier Woods.
We need more New Day every week. Well, even if they don't have a match, this is what we need. We talk to the SmackDown general manager. He's a very busy man. Yeah. As much as it took to put the authors of Pain away, the New Day coming away with a big victory here tonight. And that's just our opening matchup, Tyler. Now you know what match is next. I do, I do, I do. An absolute grudge match. Very true. Very, very true. Exactly. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, and we're getting set for this grudge match. This mystery woman has been attacking Becky Lynch constantly over the past couple of months. And... Who is it? I don't know. I, I don't know if we'll ever find out, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I mean, you guys heard, heard my theories that I was spewing off last week. I mean, <laughs> that's really all it is, speculation at this point. I mean, we don't know who it is, but Becky Lynch is at least going to get her hands on her tonight. Your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> Maybe it's Nia Jax. Mm, I don't know what that one. <laughs> I had to make the joke. I'm saying that Becky's going to get those fists. Yeah, and she can't say get these hands because... That's Braun. Yeah, that's Braun Strowman. It's copyright infringement. Gimmick infringement, as some might say. Well, yeah. And here comes Becky Lynch. After all this time, will Becky finally get retribution? And I bet Becky can't wait to get into the ring. Becky Lynch just looks intense. Oh. Oh, and she doesn't oh. notice, and the mystery woman. Not even starting. The match not even officiated yet. And this mystery woman oh. with a snap suplex. Oh, my God, and a big kick to the back of the head. And, and, oh. oh, God. What the hell is with this, this b woman? I don't... The Wait, the is this hell? match even going to happen now? I have no idea what the like, hell is going to happen here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, look, 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 look. She's taking off the hood. She's, she's taking off the hood and... Can we get the cameras back on this? Taking off the hood and the mask? What, what the, the hell? I, she has a mask up. Wait, is that... Who the... That's Nikki Cross! N Nikki Cross? That we haven't seen her in, on SmackDown before. And, oh my oh. God! Look at this. So He's tossing her. So finally, we know who this woman is, but it still doesn't explain why, of all people, she's going after Becky Lynch. What? What is with this? I mean, if she's not done. Oh God! Not again! It's gonna toss her. Oh my god. And I I still I don't I still don't get it. What why? why why not go after the women's champion? This doesn't make any sense. And she she's just leaving. Just leaving and stop. Looking back at Becky. Becky's she, struggling to get back to her feet. She's out of here. Like, what, what was... Why has she been doing this? 
It's. I mean, I I couldn't tell you. It would make sense if she was attacking Emma, and the and the Aussie posse, but she's not. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch, couldn't hurt a fly. I mean, she could. Literally. She could. But hurt you know me anytime. the expression. She could hurt me anytime. I'm gonna call PG on that uh, one. What? Here. I'm gonna call PG on that one. But why wouldn't she attack the women's champ? What this does she isn't have about against Becky Lynch? Is what Maybe I want. This isn't know. about championships. But what has Becky Lynch ever done? Me. Fuck. <laughs> PG man. God damn it. Well, I'm getting word now this match is not happening now. Well. But we now know who it is. I mean, we know who it is now, but it doesn't really answer any other any any questions, to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. We got to get to the next match since this one's apparently not happening. Ew. Well, let's move on. All right, guys, getting into this matchup, we've got Ooh. the women's champion Emma taking on Summer Rae, and Summer Rae just tossing Emma across the ring. You gotta watch out for the Aussie Posse. I was just about to say the Aussie Posse's on the outside of the ring, and you already know they're gonna help out Emma, like they have been over the past number of weeks. And oh, oh my God, and a big splash from the second rope. Oh, Emma with it just a kick to the gut. Yeah, it took you a minute. It was just such a savage maneuver. No. Summer Ray. And oh, big back suplex. Now Summer going to the top. Oh no. Summer Ray oh. with a double axe handle. Pinfall. We're gonna pin the women's champion. One. Two. No. Kick out by the women's champion. Talking to the ref. Doesn't believe it. Oh, Ooh. and a big chop knocking her down again. Summer Ray taking advantage here. And. Ooh. Just planting the face of the women's champion right on the mat. No. Oh. Scoops that. No. Ooh, and a nice reversal into a neck breaker there. Oh, Ooh, stomping the leg of oh. Summer Rae in a front drop kick. Now stomping on the back of her head. And oh. Emma with a big clothesline. Emma meaning business here. Emma with it going to the top rope as well. And, Ooh, oh. a double axe handle of her own. That's gotta hurt. And now trying to take out those long oh. legs of Summer Rae. Oh. Ooh, Summer Rae with a reversal. Ooh, Ooh, and another big chop, knocking the champ to her feet. Or to the ground, I mean. <laughs> you dope head. Oh, I don't even know anymore, man. I just don't. Ooh, oh. and a beautiful drop kick to the face of the champion. Can this be it? One. Oh, no, a kick out of one by the champion. Oh! Ooh. Beautiful Inziguri there. Summer Rae now flaunting. That's nice. And ooh, and a Russian leg sweep. Bouncing off the ropes oh. and a double axe handle yet again. See, and notice what Summer's doing. She's staying clear of that one corner. Exactly. She knows to avoid the Aussie Posse at all costs. Trying to put the women's champ up on oh. the top. Emma reversal. And oh, and a beautiful body. cross body. Looking for a pinfall. One. Two. And a Oof. kick out. And a kick out. A two. And now Emma. Oh. Been flaunting him around, but she didn't see Summer getting up. Oh. Ooh. Summer taking the champ to the outside. And a big oh. spear. Now, Summer. Look to take this fight to the outside. Oh! And the women's champ. Oh. Now, the women's champ calling for oh. something. Gotta watch out for Peyton over there. Peyton Royce doesn't know oh. whether to interfere or not. 
No, oh, clothesline. Wow, making it look like it's all easy. It's all fun and games out here. And no sportsmanship oh. in some array. Oh! Not liking the disrespect. Now, oh! Oof. Count of seven. And a submission on the outside of the ring at a count of seven is not a good thing. And oh! Eight. Wait. Some are running back in. Nine, and the women's champ trying to get back to her feet. Right. Summer's blocking Billy. Oh my god. Summer blocked Billy, so Billy couldn't get the ref. Summer just beat the champion by count out. Beautiful, beautiful awareness there. She knew the Aussie Posse was going to try and do what they could to stop the count. And Summer Rae able to able to to halt the the villainy as some might say. Summer just being able to slip through the Aussie Posse. Very much so, very much so. Summer Rae, while only by countout, still an impressive victory nonetheless over the women's champion. A victory over the champion is a victory over the champion, whichever way you slice it. Now you see Billy, she was about to get the ref. Summer it's... blocking her. Summer was not about to have any of that, and Emma could barely even get back to her feet at by the count of ten. Summer will take this. And just like that, Summer Ray. What do you think this means? Future title shot? I mean, it, it is a victory. We'll have to see what happens. She found a way to get a win. That's true, that's true. And it was a clean win. We'll have to see what's next between Summer Ray and Emma. But until then, we've got more matches coming up next. We've got a number one contendership match coming up next. Oh, should be exciting. Let's get to it. Alrighty, guys. This match is for the number one contendership oh. for the Intercontinental Championship. We've got Cassius Ono taking on Curtis Axel. Axel Mania. Ooh. Oh! Big knee to the face from Cassius Ono. And now, oh. beautiful bicycle kick from Cassius Ono and a big kick across the chest. Cassius Ono, he's, he's getting the advantage here. Cassius Ono wants that Intercontinental Championship. Oh. 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 Ooh, and a kip up by Cassius Ono. I don't know how he does that. I can't do it. Oh, looking for that bicycle kick again, oh. but no. Swinging neck breaker by Curtis Axel. Oh! I don't know Stretch what him. exactly he's doing, but it looks like it hurts. Just deciding to let go, though. Knew he was close to the ropes. And, and Axel with a standing drop kick to Cassius Ono, and Ono trying to pull himself up on the ropes. And. Oh, no. Oh, no pun intended. Oof! Now, all these months, has it been the Intercontinental Championship that has made Curtis Axel have this, like, this mean demeanor here? I mean... I honestly couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. Ooh. Oh. Cassius Ono. Trying to take out that knee and another one of those bicycle kicks. He says he is the knockout artist. Now it is... Oof. Beautiful elbow drop there. And oh, block. He's the knockout artist, huh? Is that why his, his, his name is KO? Maybe it's just irony. What about Kevin Owens? He's the new face of America. Well, why isn't he the knockout artist? I don't know. Maybe can... he is, he just doesn't say it. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're the same person. I don't think so. Mm, you never know. Maybe, maybe that's just Kevin Owens wearing a wig. Maybe you're Kevin Owens wearing a wig. I don't know about that one. I don't really look like Kevin Owens to be honest with you. A sidewalk slam by Curtis Axel. Going to the top. Going up to the top rope. Things not looking good for Cassius Ono right now. And oh. oh! Able to avoid him in a oh. big diving clothesline. Almost looked like he was stuck in the air there a little bit. 
don't know. I think I think Curtis Axel, he's holding back here. I think that's what he's doing. Ooh, and two knees to the back. Oh, oh my god. Now I see why he calls himself the knockout artist. Oh. Well, except Curtis Axel isn't knocked out, I guess. Oh, oh my god, Cassius Ono! Oh a little sneak attack there. I didn't think he could do that. Oh. Oof, oh. And a drop kick. And a kip up once again. What's Ono looking for now? And, and a oh. big senton from the apron. And almost at a count of four here. Oh. Axel. Now. Into oh. the steel steps. I knew that was coming. Oh my god. Oh, I thought Axel was going to go up to the top rope. We're going to see another count-out victory here. I hope not. Cassius, Ono trying to get back to his feet. Count of seven. Sliding back in the ring, but Curtis Axel oh. was waiting for him. Oh. And a big knee to the face. And Ono Slides just rolling out. right back out of the ring. Not a good idea to let Curtis Axel meet you outside oh. the ring, but oh, maybe he's very smart oh. here. These two men will go through anything just to get that shot. And that was beautiful awareness there by Cassius Ono. It... Doof! I'm looking for a pinfall. And a, oh, oh, immediate my. kick out. Gosh, an immediate kick out by Curtis Axel. Ow! Oh. And a big kick to the back. That hurts me. Cassius Ono calling for something here. Ooh, oh! Looking for that discus forearm, but no! Curtis Axel reversed oh. it! And that running oh. neck snap! That may have just cost him. I think that might have just cost our so called knockout artist here. And now. now the knockout artist is about to get knocked out Oh yes. my god! Oh. That'll put anyone to sleep. But it's not called to go to sleep, Tyler. Shut up. Pinfall. Went for a pinfall now. Is Curtis now. Axel the number one contender? Yes, yes, he is. Curtis Axel. He's gonna meet Roderick Strong one on one, come battleground in just a couple of weeks. <sighs> Good hard fought victory by Curtis Axel. Beautiful dodge of that discus forearm, and just like that, putting Cassius Ono away. Axel is one step closer to possibly regaining his Intercontinental Championship. And when that happens, you better believe that Axel Mania is going to run wild. Oh, it will. Still never eliminated from the 2015 Royal Rumble, by the way. And by God, if that isn't an impressive feat. And just like that... Just like that. He's the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Number one contender, Intercontinental title, Roderick Strong better watch out. Oh, he better. But, enough talk about the Intercontinental Championship, because we still have more matches coming up tonight. Let's get so let's, to it. Let's get to the next one right now. All right, getting into this matchup, we've got Goldust taking on Chris Jericho and a big elbow to the back of the head to start things off. Now tossing Goldust. Jericho with a big suplex Ooh. there. Jericho just taunting. Ooh. Insult to injury. Scoop slam. Scoop slam. By Jericho and oh, oh, just kicking Goldust right in the chest. He's pissed. Oh, he he's pissed. You could say that again. Oh. <clears throat> and oh 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 jumping oh. Jumping sunset flip one. Kick out of one. Kick out by Goldust. And I mean, I'd I'd be pissed too. He worked so hard to to open up an opportunity for himself to win that Money in the Bank briefcase. And then it was just taken from him. He was very, very close. Oof. Oh. 
I can understand why he's angry. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. That is the big chop to gold dust. And gold dust, you can tell he's having trouble breathing after that one. Well, he can't even get up. He doesn't even see Jericho oh. on the second rope with a double axe handle. He's not giving gold dust a chance here. Oh. God. Gold dust trying to regroup on the apron here, but. Jericho's I don't, think, him a stupid I don't idiot. think Jericho's gonna give him a chance to do much of anything here. And then uh, vertical no. suplex. Jericho taunting once again. Ooh. Oh, Goldust. Goldust trying to get get some momentum in here. A back elbow. Oh. A clothesline. Insult to injury of his own. He breathes weird. It's fine. The man needs to breathe. He just got chopped across the lungs oh. a couple times. He always breathes like Ooh. that. Well, maybe because he's gotten chopped so many times. I stand by what I say. Gold dust up to the second rope. Ooh. Ooh, and a double fist drop. Lifting Jericho up now. Ooh. Oh. I was going to say he was making the comeback. Looking for that open palm strike, but no, Chris Jericho not having it. Chris Jericho not having any of it. Oh! And that beautiful spinning heel kick. And now... Oh, dragging him to the middle of the ring. And dragging him a little, a little bit, bit more. more. And... Lion Salt oh. connects! <laughs> and Jericho. And now... Oh. Oh. Looking for the... Is ooh. that... That's the Lion Tamer! The lion Tamer! That's the Lion Tamer. And just like that, oh. Goldust has to has no choice but to tap. Jericho just being dominant here. He had no choice but to tap there. Lion Tamer hurts everybody, even people watching it. Chris Jericho with a overwhelmingly dominant performance here tonight. Ending with the Lion Tamer. And you could see Goldust just struggling there. And understandably so, I mean, you got Jericho's knee on the back of your head, you're, you're bent all up like that. I don't want to imagine that. I mean, it's one thing if Paige wants to do that with me, you know, or if, like, Peyton Royce wants to do that with me, or, you know, if Billy Kay wants to do that with me, Becky Lynch, definitely. Nikki Crush, she kind of scares me, but hey, that would make it even better. Uh, PG, let's see, we got, you know, dude. But, like, there's Nikki Bella also. Oh, my God. You know, I mean, God I know I got, this, I got this whole thing going Parental on with Bailey. Parental guidance. I have this whole thing going on with Bailey, but I let her do that, too. Uh, Carmella, PG. definitely. PG. Uh, Dana Brooke, I would have PG. no choice. Uh, Parental guidance. Lana, Lana definitely God would. damn it. Uh, PG. There's so many, you know. God damn it. There's so many. PG. Summer Rae. God Nikki damn James, it. PG. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, main event time. We got the architect, Seth Rollins, taking oh. on oh. Mark Henry. Oh. And Seth Rollins trying to take the big oh. man off of his feet, but it's not working out for him. And a big headbutt to the back of the head takes Rollins off of his feet. Now tossing him. Oh, my God, that's 450 pounds of pain. Look at that. Just taunting. And Rollins could barely breathe, probably. Oh! Now, big punch to the back. I thought I was going for the world's oh strongest God. slam. Just tossing Rollins into the ropes. What's he doing? Oh, oh. a knockout punch! i just picking him up. And. Is this a running power slam? Yes. yes! My God. Going for a pin. It wouldn't surprise me if this is it right here. Two. No. Seth Rollins able to kick out at two. Seth will not give up. Oh! Trying again. Oh! Actually able to take him off of his feet. Knocking him down. Jumping elbow. Hurt himself a little bit there. Up to the top. 
Mark trying to roll out of the way. It's not gonna work oh. though. Frog splash. Rollins calling for Henry to get up. Oh, Oof. that big knee to the side of the face. And oh, that super kick to the gut. No, oh, oh no. I think he only oh. made Mark Henry more angry than he already was. Oh, he's oh, mad. God. He's definitely mad. Well, yeah, you could say that again. Oh, no. Oh, no, God. Mark's on the middle rope. Jeez. And oh, oh, and a oh. superplex. Mark hurting himself, too. Understandably so. Now just screaming and Seth Rollins looks lifeless out there. Oh my god. Putting all of his weight behind that punch. Can anybody stop Mark Henry? I've got, I have no idea. Nobody could stop him in that tag match last week. It looks like the same thing here. Oh, oh my god. All of his weight behind those elbows. And just calling Seth to get up, and Seth just can't. Seth is having trouble oh here. God. And no! Seth, trying to show signs of life here. Seth coming that back That spinning now. heel kick again. Henry setting himself up into the corner. That might be advantage. Rollins, though, with oh. a big elbow. Right to the face. Now Seth, oh, kicking Henry and all, oh. oh, just stretching him out and planting his face on the ground. Seth surveying the scene here. Stomp to the chest and a Whoa. big chop. What is it? Eh. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. Now Rollins getting hyped up here. Oh, well, there goes that. And now, Mark Henry. And with his scoop oh. slam, and. Oh, no. I, I don't know what the. Oh! That's called, but it's scary. Yeah, Mark taunting everybody. Rollins. Trying to, trying to do something here. And just tossing oh. him across the ring. Ref jumping out of the way. And, oh. And, oh. Rollins. And now. Oh. And. Oh. oh. That super kick. Seth is on fire. Oh. And what's he doing here? Oh. Oh. And now Seth. Oh. Was running right into Mark Henry. Mark just pushing him down. Oh, and again. God. Now Mark, what's this? Tossing him again. Now. Ooh! Rollins. And... Oh! Able to move out of the way. And Mark Henry. Throwing him again, but no. Oh! oh my God, a big headbutt. Now... Oh, and a headbutt. And... Oh! Mark Henry just taking it to Rollins. Oh, oh my God! The strength of Seth. And now Rollins. Oh, oh my oh. God! And Rollins is gonna be feeling that in the morning. And Mark wants to go after Seth. They're getting caught up on the referee. 
Oh! Ooh. Catching Mark Henry with that knee once again. Can this be it? Yeah. One. Two. Oh! Not even a two count. Oh! And just he just again, cannot just get him. Bouncing off of Mark Henry. And oh, Mark Henry with a big chop. And now picking him up. Oh. And oh. Oof. Able to connect with Mark Henry. Zeth is just trying so hard. Oh my, oh my god. Not even a one count. What does Rollins have to do? Oh. It's Colin. Colin for Mark Henry to get up. Oh. Now Mark Henry. Oh no. Oh. World's strongest oh. slam. Is this it? No, Seth lucky enough to have the foot under the rope. I don't know if if lucky is the right word. That means he's kind of taken even more brutal beating. And oh, oh my no. god, the bear hug. Oh. Can Seth even endure this? No, oh, Mark. God. Mark just looking down at him. Rollins can't even move. And now... No! Oh. Sidewalk slam. I'm just dragging him to the middle. Oh no. Oh, oh my oh. god, that's 450 One, pounds. Two. Right across the chest of Rollins. Oh. And Mark Henry absolutely dominating Rollins. Rollins put up one hell of a fight. He tried, he tried hard, but... <coughs> God damn it, there's just no match for Mark Henry. I think it's safe to say that tonight, Seth Rollins has been officially inducted into the Hall of Pain. I think that's a safe bet. Man, I feel bad for Rollins. I think he's going to need some medical attention. Probably. Now, Mark Henry. Oh, oh, oh. He is still pissed. I think Mark Henry, even though he teamed with Baron Corbin last week, I think he wants his shot at the WWE title. And who wouldn't want their shot at the WWE title? And if we're looking at a future WWE champion, then my God, that's... That's a scary champ. <sighs> but Tyler. Yes. SmackDown is now officially done and over with. And while that might be sad for the SmackDown fans, we've got Raw's next pay-per-view. The only thing worth watching when it comes to Raw. The Great American Bash. The Great American Bash is happening Sunday. You guys should tune into it when it happens. The Raw pay-per-view is going to be an awesome show. Thank you guys for tuning in to SmackDown Live tonight. And with that, good night, everybody.